Exercise 2-11, TD, S, or Z, plus Y liaison practice. Reconnect or rewrite the following words. Remember that there may be a Y sound that's not written. Repeat. Putcher. Gradual. 1. Did you. 2. Hoosier. 3. Gesture. 4. Gesture. 5. Miss you. 6. Tissue. 7. Gotcha. 8. Where's your? 9. Congratulations. 10. Had your? Now that you have the idea of how to link words, let's do some liaison work. Exercise 2 12. Finding liaisons and glides. In the following paragraph, connect as many of the words as possible. Mark your liaisons as we've done in the first two sentences. Add the Y and W glides between the words. Practice reading the paragraph three times, focusing on running your words together. Turn the CD back on and repeat after me as I read. I'm going to exaggerate the linking of the words, drawing it out much longer than would be natural. Hello. My name is Zan. I'm taking American accent training. There's a lot to learn, but I hope to make it as enjoyable as possible. I should pick up on the American intonation pattern pretty easily. Although the only way to get it is to practice all of the time. I use the up and down or peaks and valleys intonation more than I used to. I've been paying attention to pitch, too. It's like walking down a staircase. I've been talking to a lot of Americans lately, and they tell me that I'm easier to understand. Anyway, I could go on and on, but the important thing is to listen well and sound good. Well, what do you think? Do I? Exercise 2-13. Practicing Liaisons. Back up to the last paragraph just read and repeat again. This time, however, read from the paragraph below. The intonation is marked for you in boldface. Use your rubber band on every stressed word. Exercise 2-14. Additional Liaison Practice Use these techniques on texts of your own and in conversation. 1. Take some written material and mark the intonation, then the word groups, and finally the liaisons. 2. Practice saying it out loud. 3. Record yourself and listen back. In conversation, think which word you want to make stand out and change your pitch on that word. Then, run the in-between words together in the valleys. Listen carefully to how Americans do it and copy the sound.